Boom! <laughs> I mean, I mean, come on. Google Plus? Yeah, do you not know? That we're basically building Google Plus, except I'm not going to shut it down in three months. It's time. Day two of Laravel. Boom. It's Starship, yeah. P H P, I'm out. Yep, we're learning. It's time. Oh, dang. It's trademarked. I have Sharper Zoe Campbell with imposter. You know, that's funny. Lua was right. All right. Uh, okay, so let's go. Oh, this was funny. In case you didn't see this yesterday. In case you guys missed it, chat. Uh, today, we were just doing this, but I think I'm going to switch to... Um, we're going to switch to just, uh, just direct. I didn't post it even. I should have posted it. I didn't post it for myself. I should have though. But nothing like putting rocks on blast for a lot of people. We got them. We got them, chat. We got them so good. Oh no, Laravel. Everyone seems to be framework dependent in all languages. I'm literally only doing PHP because of Laravel. Even it's even spreading, chat. It's even spreading. The meme is spreading. So where were we yesterday? Index PHP. You learn nothing while being an intern. No, the joke was that he's like, I didn't learn anything while working at Fang, and I'm like, and Rocks really truly was. Like, really, truly was just an intern at Facebook for the summer. I, like, it's not like he worked there for 10 years and said he didn't learn it. You know, I don't think, I don't think you can say, I've learned everything there is to learn at Fang. Like, by being an intern for one summer. Not saying there's nothing wrong with being an intern. I just, we just got him, right? We just got him. Didn't he work for MS for like a year? I don't think so. Um, rocks, star, rocks, star. How do you even sp LinkedIn? So. Oh, he was... Okay, so he... I'm not gonna sign... This isn't even my zip code. Nice. Okay. Wrong state. LinkedIn. That's what I get for deleting my account. I mean, I guess it's good that it wasn't my zip code. I don't know why I'm upset. <laughs> In retrospect, thanks LinkedIn for, <laughs> for putting the wrong zip code. 80211? Zip code? Denver? Oh, one sec, buddy.
Got my lunch delivered by the kiddos. I learned no one came later just for the fun and advice. Nice. Well, he brought food though, Beast Call. Yeah, I know. He was a little too quick for me. That's okay. All right. Let's do, let's do some Laravel. He is really quick. Mm, very funny too. All right. We were learning about eloquent. Find or nice where first or mm -hmm. interesting. Okay. Four helpless programmers. What are you building with uh, Laravel? Um, I want to build uh, basically like a, a website to share photos with my family. Is the super short pitch. I should record something longer about it, but I don't want to do the whole long thing right now. Why Laravel? I wanted to try it. My website should be simple. It shouldn't take a lot of long, pro a lot of processing, and it mostly gets done in the database and like network connections. So, I don't need something that runs fast. I just need something that has a bunch of things already done and done correctly. So let's try Laravel. First or create. That's cool. Yeah. Are you doing this for a job? Uh, I mean, it's for me. Yeah, Laravel is very suitable. Yeah. How do you store the photos? Not sure yet. I don't know anything about making websites. Do I work at Neovim? <laughs> They're probably less great than the solutions already out there. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I work at Sourcegraph. Um. That pays the bills. Yeah. Neovim.ltd. Yeah. <laughs> Work at Neovim. I just love the way it's phrased. Um, Ram, I've done like some web dev, but not like. I've never done a bunch of stuff. If you want, you can get a job at Fang. Probably. I mean, lots of people could get jobs at Fang if they really wanted. I don't know if I could get one tomorrow, but possibly. But I wouldn't move, so I don't know. I don't really have any interest in working at most of the fangs. Neovim. Yeah, is the N in fang. Well, 
I don't know about that, but yeah. There's lots of cool stuff at lots of different places. Different strokes for different folks. Fang, your life is your job. That's, I don't think that that's the case. Not for a lot of people. A lot of people, they work at Fang and barely work. Just, they're huge companies. People have a huge different range of uh, experiences. No idea. I haven't kept up with what Google's up to these days. save okay so this is an important bit and what's going on here it's just a php like class until you call save i think it's the best time to get into ai i don't know What have we built today? Well, we were working on OCaml all morning, and now we just started Laravel for the day. I'm just reading some more about Eloquent. To figure some things out. And then I wanted to read about um, Jetstream. I wanted to find out about this. Because I wanted to do something similar to this Teams thing. Um, so we need to do this. Great. Okay. Got it, Tan. Thanks. Yep. Right. Save makes it go to memory or go to the database. Yep. I mean, it depends what you mean, Bram, by getting into AI. What does that even mean? What's the website for? All right, here. Will someone clip this for me? All right, so. Basically, the idea of the website that I like to do is currently I have a Google Photos album that I share with my family that we have for like my kids. But the problem is I want to share smaller albums to them and like to certain subsets of them some of the time but it's like impossible to do so you can't create groups you can't manage the groups you can't automatically like give people access to other albums you can't manage like so i want to make something it's anti-social media like you pay as the person who's uploading photos as a photo backup and storage site and there's no ads there's no any i don't want to do any of that crap I just want to have a way to share photos with my family easily and like manage um, that sort of thing all together, right? Um, and I want to do it automatically and have smaller things and other stuff like that. So that's basically what I want to do. Um, so we're going to try it out in Laravel. It is Google Photos. That's what I said. Except in Google Photos, I can't like do a bunch of management things. Exactly, Zanus. And I don't want, I don't want Google to own my photos either, right? Like it would be cooler if I, Google didn't have to do it. Stuff like that. Yeah. If, if, uh, if I like it a lot and it's good, then we can try and monetize it. Um, and Alex, you're building the same thing. That's funny. Sorry. One sec. Let me eat my sandwich. But it'll be open source. Yeah. I've made things in a browser, but I'm not a front end engineer. <clears throat> yeah, that's the other thing is like, just cause Google has comments in Google photos right now, doesn't mean that it's always going to be there. <laughs> Yeah, I do plan on using Livewire. Do you, do you 
Did anybody clip the thing? Did we already miss it? Ah, okay, whatever. Okay. LimeWire? Now Bisco's interested. Would you download a car? Why would I use filament over Jetstream? Got it. Got it. Well, does filament have like off and everything too? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, Alex. It's coming, James, it's coming. It's so close. Well, if you write PHP, you get a Lambo. the rules yeah I wouldn't say he's quite noisy about it I uh, hopefully we're done eating oh nice well Alex is out Nice. 
I think mostly other people are noisy about it, right? I mean, like, yes, he's posted pictures of it, but uh, to be fair, if I bought a Lambo, I probably would also want to post pictures of it. I don't like posting pictures about anything going on in my real life. But man, if I got a Lambo, you guys would probably hear about it. Especially if I got it from something everyone said was dead. Right? Like if everyone kept telling me PHP is dead and then I got a Lambo from doing PHP, then I would probably talk about it a lot. Yeah. Like if I get a Lambo from this for from this photo sharing website, you guys know, I'm going to say, well, my private jet I got with my own personal money, not from doing PHP. Taylor's the reason I make my money, so in my world, he deserves a lemon. Nice. Okay, Mel's dead. <laughs> Shut your mouth! My main data is transmission. Well, you don't need to drive it. You just have it. Not even a picture of you and a camel. Sevix, don't tell me you haven't seen this. I don't remember... Where's the picture? Where's the picture where we absolutely roasted the guy? What? Where's the picture where we roasted the guy? I'm never going to find this. Um Shoot. What? Who were we making fun of? Dang it. Um, Because I said something programmers never seen. Chat? I can't remember. I can't remember. It was before this, yep. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Does anyone think it's ironic how much Hasklers use dollar sign in their code but have literally never made a product? And said crazy that some other coders have never seen a camel IRL. Boo! <laughs> I mean, I mean, come on. Come on, guys. <laughs> Come on. Right? I mean, it just... <laughs> oh, man. That's a good one. Exactly, Suffix. It makes sense. Um, but for web... Yeah, so PHP has problems. Sure, but like... If, if the framework solves a lot of my other problems, then I don't care about PHP's problems. This is my backyard. You went to see one just to reply? No, this is from a while ago. This is, it's my backyard. Yeah. It's what inspired me to learn OCaml. I, I, this is just my favorite pet that I have, you know? It's me and the camel in the backyard. When you write, you write. <laughs> this was such a good reply to from this guy. When you write, you write. <laughs> you write it daily. Daily. This is this is how I get to work. Yeah, this is my backyard. I've got cows, a camel, a huge field, a baseball diamond, uh, thousands of acres. No, this chat. This is not at my house. I don't have. I don't have a camel. This is right. I bought this with my open source money. <laughs> I bought this. I bought this with my NeoVim checks from NeoVim Corp. Oh my goodness. Um. Okay, Dan, are you still here? The guy who's uh, what was what was your full username? Dan something. Dan Heron. Are you still here? No, it wasn't Dan Heron. Was it Dan Heron? We started a challenge where no one mentions... No. Who was it? 
Are you actually right? Wait, you so you were the one who are you are you actually the guy who made filament or were you memeing? I can't tell if that was a meme or not. I couldn't tell if you were memeing. Pays in livestock, exactly. It's a tax for tax purposes. We'll check it out. Okay, it seems unlikely that someone made a fake account just for this. Nice. Nice. I was here. I'm already there. <laughs> I was just making sure. I just making sure. You know what I mean? Oh, this explains so much, this rascal. This rascal. If I make enough money off Okemo, will I get a camel to live in my backyard? Yeah. That does seem pretty funny. I don't think the joke would get old. But you have to understand, camel's really low on the list, so I'd have to make a lot of money from Okamel. Okay, Dan, can you give, or do you have a thing anywhere, like a short reason why I would use filament over using like Jetstream? Yeah, Alex has been around for a while. Do you have like a write up or anything? You know what I'm saying? I'm sure you are tired of people asking that question, but I'm a complete novice. I've literally written a hundred lines of poetry. It will generate cruds for you, Jetstream. You have to build your stuff. Okay, interesting. Okay. Okay. Where can I read about that part? Take the getting started and then panel builder. Okay. Okay. Create a user. Form builder, table builder, notifications, actions, lists. Okay, sure. Camel's worth more than all your girlfriends combined. Well, yeah, zero girlfriends in chat, so. Underlines. How many before Lambo? Oh, I already said it's in the mail. It's in the mail, chat. User extends authenticable implements filament user can access panel. Okay, so panels are their own thing. It's all then click getting started. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going from movie two. I'm not. Um, just a wife, exactly. Uh, will fill. So, Dan, were you here for what I actually want to build? Alex just said this might work. Hey, thanks, Bassie. I'll catch you later. Photo app having many deals. Okay, so I'll give you I'll give you the details. You can tell me if it makes sense or if there's I should be uh, up a different direction or something. So, um, okay, this time will someone clip this for real, Zanis? Will you clip this for me? Um, okay, so basically. Right now, the way that I share photos with my family is through one big shared Google Photos album. And the problem with that is that one, if I add someone to the album, then they're always there forever, right? Which is kind of annoying if you just wanted to only share like birthday pictures or something like that. And then the other thing like with it is that it doesn't let me easily create small albums that I can like add to the same group, right? So almost like Google circles, you, if you remember from Google plus being able to like create a circle and then share with those people. Right. And so the main problem is I can't do that in Google photos. And like, I wouldn't mind not having all the photos of like my kids, not in Google photos. So that's kind of what I want to build. I'm going to build it for me first. And if it's like good and I like it, then I would maybe think about allowing people to like pay to back up their photos there and use the same service. That's kind of, that's kind of where I'm at. So what do you think, Dan? Like, is this, is this like... Could have sworn I've shared specific albums Google Folds. So you can, but it's annoying to share it all. Maybe building structure material could be a good learning experience. Yeah, I, so I, I'm like ambivalent about, could this be self-hosted too? Yeah, so I would hopefully make it, you could, you'd be, 
definitely touching more parts of the framework. Yeah, it feels like I'd be doing quite a... So this looks awesome for like... I just don't know if I need a bunch of these features. Right? So that's the part that I'm trying to figure out if I need to do this part or not. If I really need filament or if I'm building something that's sort of like tangential. Um, ideally, Piano Composer, though, I will make it so that people can uh, run their own stuff. Yeah. So, like, I'm hoping to just make it open source, but, like, I'm the only one who's allowed to run it as a service for money. Because I don't really want you guys to get money for my work, but I don't mind you using it for your own personal stuff. I don't care. Highly optimized for CRUD-based interfaces. Okay. I can add this in later, though, right? Like, I could add filament later. I mean, I'm not going to get super far in any of them super quickly, right? Thank you. Thank you, Xanus. Sweet. Perfect. Thank you, Xanus. Commands. Commands. Add photos. I'm using Laravel to explore building a photo app. Photo sharing app that I want and think would be cool. <laughs> Shut up, Peace Go. Peace Go! Oh! Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's try for a little bit. I don't even know if we're going to try immediately with, um, with like Jetstream. We might just try with Laravel and then like we'll expand as we go. Thanks, Dan. So that's very helpful. Then I don't have to say this every single time. And we'll add Beast Coast feature request as well which is that you can um you can basically dismiss photos in an album so you don't have to see them again great feature idea bisco basically the other thing is i just think i would probably if i build it for myself and then it's some and it's even like mildly successful for me and a few other people i think i probably can just make it more fun to use than google photos just having a look at livewire yep yep so i'm already on the livewire train we're right here, right there. Jetstream should sit in the background. Okay, cool. Um, I'm already familiar with a lot of the like concepts of Livewire, even though I haven't made, I haven't written anything myself yet. Google Plus, yeah. Do you not know that we're basically building Google Plus? Except I'm not going to shut it down in three months, and it's open source, so you could run it yourself, even if I did. Okay. Um, create updates, save, save. You still just call save. Okay. Mass updates. Oh, cool. This does an actual like select. The model's never actually retrieved. Sweet. Makes sense. Make this a service. I can supply the info. Oh, okay. Imp interesting, Papa. The shutting down is the best part. Google Plus was great. So just plus. Oh my goodness. What if we just called it plus? You'll be storing photos in your servers? I don't know yet. I mean, I'm definitely not going to be a, a photo backup service and then just never make backups. <laughs> that sounds terrifying. Google Plus Plus. Uh-huh. G Plus Plus. Okay. G, 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 G Sharp. Holy cow. No, probably call it circles or family or something. I don't know. It's not the idea chat. So here's the thing. Programmers can already figure out how to do this kind of thing. Like, well, you see, guys, I've got a mix of sync thing and Dropbox syncing over to my Plex server. My Plex server, I have a front end for that built specifically for sharing photos. And then I share the photos with my friends and family. They have to log in with the same password that the other... Okay, I get it. We can all figure out how to do this. I want it so that my grandparents can see the pictures. Okay? And it's all running on Arch. No, because it's for families. If it was a photo sharing app for singles, could be Arch. Boomers, you print them and hand them the pictures. No. No, everybody in my family knows how to do um, <clears throat> knows how to do Google Plus. 
or not Google Plus. They don't know how to do Google Plus. They know how to do Google Photos because they get a notification, right? They get a notification, and then they can look at the comments. They definitely don't know how to do Google Plus anymore. I wish, though, dude. Oh, I loved Google Plus. Um, but it's like it's. I want it to be anti-social media. Like, there's no way to like get break out. You have to pay for people. So like, if I was going to monetize it, I would pay basically based on how many people are able to view that album. Time gated public links. Oh, nice. That's a great idea, Bisco. That's a good idea. No wall or feed? No. If there's a feed, it's simply chronological new pictures added to albums that you have access to. Um, I haven't looked at some of the other ones. I'm gonna try and build it, so like I don't know if I don't know if there's other ones that kinda do this, but yeah. Church sub owners for a user who's in the sub. Only plus. No, we'll call it something like with family in the name. We will have the only thing you'll see when you default login are my Lambos. Kinda like how everybody was uh friends with uh what is wh why can't I remember his name? What's the MySpace guy's name? No, it's a mix. It's a mix between the two. Tom. There we go. Zuck. Definitely not. Yeah. He's Tom's a genius. No Alpha for algorithm. 23. The algorithm is just literally descending date. <laughs> and it's going to go reverse one from the last. So there's an end too. So you can finish. Right? You can finish the feed. I'm not trying to get you to be in my app. I want you to get caught up with your family. That's it. You know what I mean? Like, that's all I want to do. It's exactly the opposite of social media. Order by created at Sunday. Exactly. How about that's it? It's the, like, okay, algorithm solved. Um, ooh, nice. Update or create? Great. No ML then? No. The only ML we would use is something at the beginning, but like I wouldn't be writing it where people, where it just filters out, uh, like illegal or like, uh, NSFW content. Like that's the only thing that I would want to filter. Allow plugins? Probably not. But you could always fork it and make it so that you could do that if you wanted. Plugins are by fork. There you go. Oh, nice, Ethics. Cool. Yeah, I'm sure there's some service we can do. Um, delete. Builder VS. Oh, screenshots. Unlimited storage for $5 a month? Yes, definitely unlimited. For you, Bisco, I could make an exception. Patch and recompile. <laughs> exactly. $1 per image. Oh, man. No, the pricing would be some... Com I think, like, pricing would be some combination of uh, storage X users, basically. It's a free storage backup. <laughs> 8K video. Right, this so this is why storage, you have to pay you have to have people pay for storage. I'm not interested in trying to commoditize them. They're just like if you want to upload a lot, you just pay more money. I don't have five dollars a month. Sounds like you won't be a customer. There you go. <laughs> That's fine. You can run it yourself if you want. Back up my OS's. Nice. That would be interesting. Laravel scheme builder helps clear method schema blueprint table table top deletes. All right, should we just start trying to build something? I think I get a lot of the basics of this eloquent stuff. Fan book. 
book, fam. Uh, okay. Scopes. Oh, interesting. What are scopes? Our photos. <laughs> Wait, so is it capitalism or communism? <laughs> um, okay, so writing... Writing global scopes first. Make scope to generate a class that does elegant scope interface. The interface requires using only one method. Apply. The apply method may add where constraints or other types of cl clauses to the query as needed. Okay, interesting. Your photos. They belong to you. Exactly. I photo. Wait. <laughs> it's probably. I'm sure a bunch of those are already taken. Angels and anything before 2000? No, I think it's subtract 2000 years. Tony, don't worry. I think this is subtract years 2000. I think you're safe. I think you're safe. Flashback would be good, Xanus. I'm thinking of just trying to call it circles. There's no way circles like .io or circles i don't uh look at over here i don't know what's gonna happen does, does no one have surely someone has circles.com yeah no one has circles io the problem is old people aren't gonna type dot io Uh, something that a boomer would remember. <laughs> That's really funny. That's pretty funny. That's a good idea, Xanus. They Google it and click the first link. Exactly. So it needs to be. It needs to be something uh, different. Interesting. Scope active query where scope a query to only include popular users. What? I don't get it. How would you use this? Oh, utilize. Oh, active. Click here, grandpa.com. Click me.com. Could also work. Uh, I like how it, 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 it almost blocked you, nerd. Okay, this this is like stuff where you're like, okay, I see what you did there. I see what you did there, but it's also terrifying. <laughs> Familycircle.app. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Available. Might need to purchase since chat already did it. Aunt Sue, maybe we should have it be a dot zip website. My photos dot zip. <laughs> Intellifence will do better. Okay. Uh, how much was Intellifence? I don't mind paying for it. I, I mean, like I pay for software. 20 bucks. Okay, one sec. Let me just. I almost, I almost did the wrong thing. We'll just try it out, chat. Is dot zip used to be? 
Ninosaur, hey, thanks for the thanks for the sub. Pay for games if that counts. Sure. Yeah, why not? Telefence license, license key, K. Okay. Um Where your home door is. Wait, so I can just put this in telefence. B exposes this. Okay. One sec, chat. Oh, how do I install this? I think we should be okay now. Okay. Hey, modern PHP from one to five. I don't have any opinion about it yet because I don't really know. Um, is there no, like, where is there? How do I install this? NPM? Your intelligent your intelligence license key has been activated. Nice. Okay, so we do Oh yeah. Nice. Okay, nice. It looks good so far. Sweet. Okay, it it, it puts a bunch of uh I wasn't getting this beforehand, so that's cool. Sweet, this looks great. Okay. All right, so let's, let's start chat, let's start. Um, who uses Laravel these days? PHP is kind of obsolete. Uh, I'm using it right now. I'm using it right now. In the oven, I think I just did. I think I'm done. We worked. Uh, we're working on. Did I call it photos? Nice. There you go. You can you can hear the pitch there. Okay. So does Intellivance have like uh, capability? Does it have a format? So can I actually turn off? Um, What if I turn this off? Let's try this again with just uh, this, right? And let's say we do this. Oh, nice. And it's so much faster. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, so this looks like it's working well. Cool. We're in business, boys. We're in business. Do you have a problem with Lambos? Exactly. What do you use for formatting? Now I'm using IntelliFence. So, all right. Let's just think about how... So, I, I should have, like, a user. So, he, I have this. I have a user. They have something in here. Yeah, within the LSP. Yep. This is just Vim, LSP. You can see it here, watch. 
Lua vim.lsp.buff.format. Done. So just run that on safe if you want. If you want to do more complicated, you could use like um, conform.endem is a good plugin, but it just does that under the hood. Oh, cool. Nice. That's really cool. Attribute should be cast to date time and password should be hashed. Okay, cool. So has API tokens means that it has access tokens. Token worth money. Token can. Interesting. Create token. Oh, cool. It uses like this sanctum thing. I've seen that. Notifiable. Ooh, cool. Okay. Hey, see it. I was seeing me too. Forward man. Yep, you can just do it with an auto command. What does Lambo even mean? Lamborghini? Um, okay, so I don't know how to use Sanctum. I guess probably we should figure out how to use Sanctum. Like if I'm uh whoops. Is there like a Laravel Vim plugin or something? Like the thing I'd like to, is there like a, you know, console? Ooh, nice. 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 Hmm. But is there a NeoVim version? Are you based out of the US? Yes. I, yeah, I live in the US. He's based. <laughs> Let's go. How do you like Laravel so far? Um, it seems cool so far. I mean, I'm it's, I'm very new at it, right? Like I'm very new. Um, okay, so we have our Laravel landing page here, right? So let's try and do something simple, right? Let's do. Uh, use app models users. Is it not called? Oh, it's just called the user. Wait, why is this one called user? Why did I make the other one called chatters? That was a mistake, right? That is actually a mistake. This should be chatter.php. And this, instead of being chatters, should be chatter, right? Because we have a you we have a singular name for this okay okay nice we don't have any users how do i like i don't even know okay you, so I, I i'm here i'm i'm layer of ellen how do we start like how do we like make a user you know what i mean getting started like, what do I do to get a user in this bad boy? Right, right. But, like, I'm saying, like, what if I wanted to make it in the front end or something, right? To use your service. Oh, I'm... We're there. User create. Just do it with user create. Yeah, no, I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah, see you, Geek. Thanks for hanging. You get a new user, then the properties, then user save. Okay. Um. All right, that's fine. It, it like it's okay sure so i go back to user and i'm here and i say that we have name email and password what about the other things like name tj email hello tj at twitch.com oh we'll say teach dv Uh, password. Um, I love the primogen. Okay. Tinker. Yep. So I'm I'm do I'm in Tinker right now. Um. So I already have a user from the startup for Laravel. So that's already in. That's already in. Do I need to save this or does create already do it? 
The passwords you need to hash yourselves. What? Oh, sorry, rejoined. Done, it's saved. Okay. So I go here. We go user, all. Nice. I don't really care about the password thing. We'll figure that out later. Okay, so I have a user. Beautiful. Yep, that makes sense. Yep, I know this one too. User first. User. Where. Um, name equals TJ. Oh, yeah. Oh, where name. User, where name. TJ, like this? Cool. Okay, nice. You can have the password automatically hashed too. All right, we'll get back to the passwords later. Don't, uh, that's fine. Ah, uh, okay. User where? So this is like equals. Sweet. That makes sense. Keep going 24, you're getting labeled. I know. Is that an ORM interface? Oh yeah, you bet it is. It's eloquent. It's eloquent. Um, all right, so let's I I am a little bit tempted to just go and get Jetstream because I don't want to think about like this stuff. Should we just pull Jetstream in now and then try and change it? Like, cause we're not going to have teams, but we're basically going to have teams, right? So we're still going to have to change a bunch of stuff, right? In the sense that like, we're going to, it's not going to be Jetstream teams. I know if it doesn't work for you, because feel free to non teammates just stream and manually add team actually placed on your own needs. Like I would just do, you're doing peach so on Monday you have Lambo. Exactly. That's the plan. I'd use Breeze instead of Jetstream. Okay. Breeze. Where is uh Laravel Breeze? Minimal simple implementation. Ooh, of all the auth features, okay. This is made up of blade time with silent tail initially with live art or inertia. Okay. Okay. Flex the team. So, I mean, like, we can always pull two factor auth out. What? Why did that not work when I opened it here? Is that not weird? It seems weird. Okay. It's, uh, the font is Berkeley Mono. Okay. Breeze expose all the files directly to you instead of packing them up so they're easy for you to tweak. Oh, nice. Okay, well then in that case, yes, we should use Breeze. First you create a new area, clear your day from day migrations. When you have a new, you'll install Breeze using Composer, okay? Okay, then you'll do this. And then we want to do live wire. Uh, I don't know the difference between these two. Volt class ABI. I mean, obviously I like functions, chat. You guys know I love functions. I don't know the difference between these two.
I should do class first to learn the ropes of li live wire. Even if I know, um, so that's our not everything one-on-one -one with live wire docs. I mean, I want to choose the new hotness. I'm going to lie. Since you said it's the new hotness, it's pretty. Like I, pr it's pretty hard for me to not. Oh, but Dan said use the class API. Dang it. Oh, hey, thanks. React functional component versus React class components. Ah, fortunately, I don't know anything about either of those. All right, we'll pick class. We'll pick class. I'm going to trust Dan. I'm going to trust him. Would you like dark mode? Yes. PHP universe pest. I don't have any, I, once again, no, I have no thoughts. Chat, quickly. Pest, pest is really nice. Okay, so PHP unit. Okay, PHP, PHP, PHP. Yep. <laughs> All the PHP people tearing their hair out on the other side. This guy's an idiot. He doesn't know anything about this. Why is he even here? <laughs> He's running page faith. I don't know if I need to redo that if even if I installed like a million other things. Okay. So what can I do I have any like view, live wire, register, reset password. Okay, cool. So these these are ones that already exist now. Okay. Is there like a regist register? Okay, cool. No, we're just jealous of the Neo Vim supremacy. Oh, thanks, Papa. Sweet. Tej DV. Name. Tej DV at example.com. Password ASDF, 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 ASDF. Nice. Strong password. Database. Oh, I didn't run my migrations. Hodl chat. PHP artisan migrate or something like that. Okay. We didn't follow the instructions. Let's go back to where it tells us what to do and follow them. Uh, no, we don't need any of these. That's such a good picture. Filament looks cool. We don't need this. We don't need this right now. We don't need this. We're not going to do that. We're doing not doing this. We are going to do breeze. We should be artisan migrate, but I just did that and it didn't do anything. Which password manager am I using? Uh, we use LastPass, but I'm going to switch at some point. Wait, so did this did this work or no? Fresh. Let's try restarting. This doesn't seem like it was right. So let's just refresh this. Woot. So Laravel does not exist. Ensure this is platform absolute to the database. Database file. Why is it called Artisan? No, oh, I have it. I have Laravel right here. I forget what this one is every time. Ooh, this reminds me that I wanted to check the. I wanted to check. Um... There's a new dad bod. Oh, this isn't right. I did the wrong thing. Toggle, rename, edit.
Nice. I always forget what, what that actually is. So we don't have any users, but we do have a database. So why can't this connect to the database? Database file app pass layer, does not sir. This is a absolute path to the database. Oh, I think I didn't read it all. Okay, so let's go to dot end. Pretty sure we have DB database. Uh, home TJ DeVries, Git, um, circles, Laravel, something like this, right? Let's try that. Does that automatically restart? Do, do I need to update? Oh, nice. It did. It noticed that. Excellent. Ooh. Log in. What did I what did I set the password to? ASDF, is that not what I said? Um when you're leaking secrets. I don't have any secrets right now. I it, it restarted automatically. Do I need to confirm it or something like that? All the secrets are the default secrets, don't worry. I haven't done any actual ones yet. Did you do PHP, PHP Artisan, Breeze? Yes, I must have, because I already have this. Yeah, because we did that already. Check the DB. True. Maybe this didn't save. Okay, we'll try again and go to register. Oops. Oh. That's weird. Oh, nice. Okay, so it must have just gotten scuffed somehow. Yeah, I think it must have gotten messed up when I didn't have a real database or something. Or we put someone in with an email address already that was messed up. I don't know. That's fine. You're logged in. Profile. Nice. This is great. Yeah. So I think it just... Yeah, I think it just messed up somehow. And it probably happened because I didn't install something or I wasn't doing it right. That's fine. That's whatever. Sweet. Okay. So now I have a user, right? Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll potentially go back to uh, like... Some jet stream stuff later. Okay, so what if I do this now? Sweet, look at that. Haven't verified our email, but that's okay. Dashboard. So I'm looking for where do we have dashboard? Out service provider. Cool. Okay. Oops. Are you liking Laravel so far? I'm like, I'm super early. I'm super early. Yeah. So I was wondering where do we actually, you know, create the dashboard, right? I wanted to know like, where are we actually doing that? So like, this is our route service provider, provider, home route, typically user after off. Middleware auth and verified auth. Cool. Yeah, no. So I got that part. I already, I already, I get where the, where the blade thing comes from. I was wondering who is making the dashboard, right? So I was like, so here's the view. So this just literally just makes the dashboard. Uh, 
viewer eye and view. So is it just because this one's called dashboard blade PHP? You're logged in. Dang it, Chad. I'm going to have to learn Tailwind, aren't I? <laughs> oh, man. Yep, yep. I already got that part. Where, where, where we can see the user? This is the profile. Tailwind is nice. You'll like it. Yeah. We'll see how did teach how teaches logging looks like he stored the hash, but the technologies, I just literally typed five PHP commands and it was done. Dashboard, open the dashboard blade.php. Okay. So then, oh, and then this is the name name is add or change the route name. Got it. So you like PHP? Um, I like Laravel so far. PHP seems fine. There's some cool stuff about it so far. Um, so let me just think for a second. So the next thing we would want to do is we want to let's let's do the like dumbest version of this, right? Lambo guy initially wrote Laravel. All the monthly induction is three charge shorter every line. Yep, I know. Easily generate your oh, I remember this. Okay, right, right. And then you can even have route group. Is this what it is? Um, and then you can do, or you can have like route uh, namespace. I don't remember which one. I There are a few other route things that you could do. Cause then you could do like, uh, you know, like user dot profile as the name. And then it puts them before there and stuff like that. Very cool stuff. Very cool stuff. All right, so let's just do something really stupid where we make um, where we make like teams and we'll do the dumbest version of teams, which is that you uh, you can make a new team and then you can add people to add users to it. Right. Um, so for that, we need to make a new t a new model. PHP artisan model or what was it model make model yep team not group or we'll call it group or something we'll call it let's just call it group what would you say to anyone wanting to learn php learn it don't let your dreams be memes Okay, cool. Uh, nice. Okay. I should have a migration for group, right? And then I need to like, I need to basically add these as well. Okay. Um, yeah. Like who, who cares what other people want to like say about your stuff? Just like, if you want to learn it, you should just go learn it. That sounds good. Okay, so how do I add out attributes? Does we need to go back to Eloquent and go look at the very basic stuff again? Get started. Uh, relationships, because I need a foreign key. Oh, um, I guess we'll well, let's start simple. Let's start simple. Let's make. No, before we do relationships, we'll do getting started. Can I give? I can give you a key from Belgium if you want. That's a foreign key. True. Most devs would just say the best way to learn it is to just don't. What, for PHP? Yeah, who cares what other devs have to say? If you want to learn it, you should just go learn it. I think user makes the key for you. I don't know. Can I? Someone, someone has to know. How can I link these two? PHP artisan link. That's what Symphony does. I don't know. I don't even know how to make a new, uh, like, how do I make a new table? Like, what the basics, routing, tables, views, blade templates. Oh, wait, no, I need to go back to Eloquent. I want to do this, getting started. Where is, like, table names, primary keys? 
keys, timestamps, default attribute values. How do I just make like a string? Oh, in the migration. Oh, I see what you're saying. Languages matter a lot, but there's other things besides languages. Start with the database. Trying to create a new table. I want to create a new column in this group. I just want to say, let's make a new column and we want to just call it name. I'm trying to figure out how to make, how to make that happen. But we'll do the user ID column later. User ID. Do I just literally make a new attribute on here? Table for an ID for user class. Okay, all right, all right. Well, we'll just write this now since everyone's telling me. Table foreign ID for very foreign given model. And I, can I just say user? Class probably. Yep. Um, you have to add a column migration forward key then to find a function for the model that represents the relationship. Okay, but I, okay, chat, just slow down for a second. How can I put the, how can I make a new column called name? Okay, sure. Yeah, yeah. Why does it do that? Table string name. Okay, sure. No, I know we can put this here. I'm saying, how do I put it on this? How can I put it on this class? Just put the name inside the protected fillable way. Okay, so I go protected fillable. Why is my uh, indenting so jacked up? Oh, I see. Okay. But then how does, how do, okay, so let's say make like, Well, user PHP has a bunch of stuff that I don't understand yet. Like it has hidden and other stuff like that. I didn't know if it does it happen here. Does it happen in authenticatable? Does it happen in authenticatable authorizable? Remember name, remember token. I don't know. There's a lot happening in user. Foreign key constraints. You're going to have to make chat. I wanted to just make, I'm saying, how do I make name with a string? That's what I'm saying. I just wanted to put name with a string first. <laughs> okay, right. So then, but that's what I'm saying. That's why I was asking about that first. Throws user JSON to skip fields declared and hidden. Yep, that makes sense. You've done it. Okay, that's good. How many story points? Oh, it's a lot of story points. So then I want to do PHP artisan migrate. So now it runs this. So now we go to here. We can go from groups. And it's gonna have none. So then we wanna do. Oh, right. So we wanna make a name. Uh, but this isn't, we actually don't wanna do this. We don't wanna have this here. We need to have like a, a table in the middle. We need to have a table in the middle, right? Isn't that the way that you would normally do this? You would want to have some joining table. That's like um, users two groups or something, right? Oh, is that called a pivot table in this? User group? No. 
Nice. Group user. Probably still want... Yeah, we could have like an owner. Would probably be a good idea. Table for an ID for column. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we're reading it right now. Uh, okay. Let's go back to uh, defining relationships. Let's do a many to many. Has one, has many. An example of many, many is user that has many roles, and these roles are shared by other users. Exactly. That's basically what we want. We just want to make the. <laughs> All right. We're pat. We, we got the name now. Users, roles, and role user is out tables derived from the alphabetical order of the related names and contains user ID and role ID columns. Wow. Okay. Nice. Okay, I have to pee super bad and get some uh, get some more coffee. I'll be right back. We'll do some more shortly.